Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to build an API with Fast API. So let's see how to work with it. So in the previous session, we learned about how to use Flask to build an API, how to use base Flask as well as Flask RESTful to build an API. Now let's see how to work with another alternative called Fast API. So to install, we're just going to go with pip install Fast API in case you don't have it. Then you require UVCon to be able to save or run your app. So that is how to work and install Fast API. Perfect. So now let's start with this. I'm just going to go to my Fast API, my Fast API folder. It's going to be Fast API, API. Perfect. So I'm going to create our first file called app.py. Perfect. Now let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to come back to my folder here. There's a previous tutorial, so I'll close everything. Then I'll come back here. Right. So let's build as a simple app. So in building a simple API with fast API is very, very simple. If you know Flask, it's quite easy. It's going to be from fast API import fast API. This must be capital, right? That's a basic idea. Perfect. Then the next thing we need is that we need to be able to import unit, import UV con. So import UV con. Then we're going to initialize our app. Going to be our app it's going to be our first api you can put debug here in case you want to get information so debug is called to true or you can omit it then you're going to close it so if me then this is going to go with uv con dot run then app referring to this particular app we have initialized here then we're going to supply the host it's going to be one two seven zero zero one then the port you're going to give your own port, right? So the port you are using is port 8000. Very simple and very basic. Perfect. So that is the basic idea. Now everything we're doing will be going in between here. So let's first of all work on our app. So I'm just going to create something very basic to help us with that. Which is in case you want to add a template to it, you can just do that. But let's go straight away and build an API. So I'm just going to open my data or use the data we'll be using. I'm using our famous by books data going to wait open as our books dot json as f then we're using json to read it so let's go to the books then it's going to go with our json dot load f right, so we have to import json to, to help us to read it so import json very simple right that is it. We have been able to get our data and it has been stored inside books. Now let's build our first route. So in building our first route to get it very simple. There are several ways of doing it, but we'll go with the simplest method. So the first one is that we're going to define our first route. It's going to be our app.get, right? Then I'm going to give my API endpoint. So it's going to be slash API slash my version one slash let's do, let's use one as version two. And then we're just going to go with books. If I go with books now, I, I'm returning books, right? Then I'm going to define a function with async on us. You can just go with async def, then get books. We are getting all the books. So I'm going to return our books. So let's call this return our books. We're going to go with our books as books. Perfect. So that is how to build a simple API with fast api right very very simple so let's see what you have done so far so i'm going to run it here we have it here to run this the simplest way is just go with uv con then app so this app is referring to the name of this app here and then app which is referring to this particular app here right perfect so the file is called app so this is how it is this file is the app here right and then this is the file on top of it this particular app that you are running so in case this was called main here will be named as main right perfect now let's move it that that's reload it's going to reload it and we're going to see that work so it's reloading running it on this particular port so i'll copy this particular port so it's not finding the boost json so let's add it there so i'll copy the boost json from my flux use this into my first api right so that can see it now it's going to detect it and then we can see everything working if i save it now 
let's go up save it refresh so now it's going to be 8.8000 so detail not found right the reason it does not found is that our version is version 2 <laughs> so it's going to be version 2 so I go to version 2 voila so we have our details there everything is working as expected very very interesting right very very interesting so that is how to work with fast api so fast api gives you the option of doing some interesting stuff so if i come here and i change the url to docs you can also see the documentation for us so let me expand it here which is very very interesting with some swagger api swagger design right which is open api so i can just go with my get and then i can try it out from here so try it out can execute it's going to load it and then return all the data set for us right very very interesting inside the request response body very interesting and very interesting with some information about it very nice that is all in one I can also go to redoc then get more information in a different ui using redoc right which is going to be the documentation about this particular stuff which is quite interesting how to use it and then some very basic information all out of this simple code we have written it's very simple now let's see how to add another option of being able to fetch the data right so to fetch the data is going to be very simple it's going to be the same thing so let me copy this that we have here it's about fetching one single book then here i'm just going to do the same thing that we did previously i'm going to pass in backslash then i'm going to define the title Right, so I'll be passing the title here. Then here is going to be get a single book, right? Perfect. So let's create a simple if condition to help us do that. So let's create a book. It's going to be so book for book in books. If a uh, book, this as we have been doing <laughs> for book in book if book title is equal to my title return that book right very interesting so something very simple and we are going to return this particular stuff here so that's all that you need right you have done something very simple and something very basic and i have to change this one from book to books if i save it now and we're going to detect the changes reload and detect the changes then if i come back here to the redoc it's going to add that particular documentation for us that we have our get books we also have our get book right so we have two different documentation we have our get books here we have our get book single book right with something interesting then i can come back to my docs and with the docs here i can see the same thing right there's a swagger i have my first route to get all the books try it out execute i get all the books here very interesting then i can also search for a book so let's pick a book from here let's use the divine comedy right i'll copy this one here then i'll come back to just close it here right so we had my first one can just come back to the next one which is for fetching the individual book which is this so click on it can try it out then i can paste it here right paste it here execute it's going to analyze then fetch the book for us very very interesting so with fast api you get two out of the box right something very simple something very basic the same thing i did i can also copy the same thing i did then paste it here and it's also going to return it inside this particular option right i can also use the same thing inside my postman which is in this case it's going to be a different route right and i click on send it's going to work and then give us the same result right so fast api give us some very cool stuff to do right very very interesting so that is the basic idea behind working with fast api how to build an api with fast api right so thank you for watching so the most basic idea is that you just import fast api and uvcon then just want to load your data you build your first route to show everything your second route so in case you want to add data to it right you can just go to the same thing wait post so we're going to change this one from here to let's say post that is how to do that that is something very basic about it so thank you for watching and then see you in the next session stay blessed